O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Fight those who fight me, O Lord, attack those who are attacking me. Take up shield and armor and rise up to help me. Draw the sword and bar the way against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who seek after my life be ashamed and humbled. Let those who plot my ruin fall back and be dismayed. Let them be like chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord drive them away. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For they have secretly spread a net for me without a cause. Without a cause, they have dug a pit to take me alive. Let ruin come upon them unawares. Let them be caught in the net they hid. Let them fall into the pit they dug. Then I will be joyful in the Lord. I will glory in his victory. My very bones will say, Lord, who is like you? You deliver the poor from those who are too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Malicious witnesses rise up against me. They charge me with matters I know nothing about. They pay me evil in exchange for good. My soul is full of despair. But when they were sick, I dressed in sackcloth and humbled myself by fasting. I prayed with my whole heart as one would for a friend or a brother. I behaved like one who mourns for his mother, bowed down and grieving. But when I stumbled, they were glad and gathered together. They gathered against me. Strangers whom I did not know tore me to pieces and would not stop. They put me to the test and mocked me. They gnashed at me with their teeth. O oh Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from the roaring beast and my life from the young lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you in the mighty throng. Do not let the treacherous foes rejoice over me, nor let those who hate me without a cause wink at each other. For they do not plan for peace, but invent deceitful schemes against the quiet in the land. They opened their mouths at me and said, Aha, we saw it with our own eyes. You saw it, O Lord, do not be silent. O Lord, be not far from me. Awake, arise to my cause, to my defense, my God and my Lord. Give me justice, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness. Do not let them triumph over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, Aha, just what we want. Do not let them say we have swallowed him up. Let all who rejoice at my ruin be ashamed and disgraced. Let those who boast against me be clothed with dismay and shame. Let those who favor my cause sing out with joy and be glad. Let them say always, great is the Lord who desires the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall be talking of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, that it may be well with you, and that you may live long on the earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, be obedient to those who are your earthly masters with fear and trembling and singleness of heart as to Christ, not in the way of eye service as men pleasers, but as servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, rendering service with a good will as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same again from the Lord, whether he is a slave or free. Masters, do the same and forbear threatening knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven, and there is no partiality with him. Here ends the lesson.
Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness. For your tender mercy's sake. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for praying with us tonight. We hope that you will join us every night at 6 p.m. for daily evening prayers here at Holy Cross. We also have in-person services on Wednesday evenings at 6 p.m., followed by our weekly Bible study. We thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you again soon.